I want to continue talking about the pages palette and pages following up on our first uh, video. And the pages palette is how we add and move and insert pages to our document. And we can access that in a variety of different places within um, the menus and the different palettes. First, I'm going to look over here to my little pages icon and I can click here and it brings up the pages palette. Um, we can, as always, get all of the, the uh, windows and the palettes up under window in the main menu. And we can access it from here. And there you see it. Okay. Um, and we can add pages um, in a variety of different places. Uh, the first off, we can go right here to uh, the corner, the little options button here, right there, which is in the corner of all your palettes. And we can say, insert pages. And we can add pages here. And we'll just say, OK. And notice, now we've got eight pages in our document. Um, we can also generally um, uh, right click, right click, and once again, you see we can uh, bring up these different little palettes um, and windows that would let us uh, modify and insert pages. All right. Then we can go also up to the main menu under layout, and once again, we have pages. And then slide over to add page, insert pages, move, delete pages, etc. And um, we've got a number of different ways that we can access that information. By the way, when you are creating most documents, you want the number of pages in the document to be divisible by four, by four, meaning four pages, eight, 12, 16, 20. Not by two, because when you think about it, um, a single sheet of paper folded in half actually makes four pages. And any document that is stapled together is generally um, going to be divisible by four. Sometimes you'll even see where extra pages have been added into a document and they'll refer to them as notes or they might even be blank from time to time because they needed the total number of pages to be divisible by four. So that's... Um, an important thing to always remember and consider. Um, another place that we can add pages is uh, from up here in the master page area. We can simply click and drag and bring a page down and put it wherever we want. Okay, and we just added another page. We can, um, with all the Adobe programs, we can come right here and throw a page away, delete a page, by just dragging it to the little trash can. And you see. We can add a page from down here by clicking on the, the page icon. And once again, it added another page. You can also, there might be a situation where you want to duplicate a page and everything that might be on that page. And by dragging it down to the new page icon right here, there you go, we would have duplicated that page. So there are a number of different places and ways to add pages to our documents. And for instance, here, notice we've got 10, 11 pages. That's not going to work. I need at least 12. So I will click and add a new page. Also notice that when we look at the pages palette, the first page and the last page always, always show up by themselves, not as a, a two-page spread. Say the first page and the last page. Okay. Well, then um, let's take a look at the power of master pages. Remember, nobody's going to pay you um, to make things more difficult. Um, or to take longer. And of course, consistency throughout a document is also extremely important. So anything that may you may want to have on all the pages of your document, even things like guidelines, you put one time on the master page and then it automatically appears on all the pages of your document. I'm pulling over some guides 
um, right now. Let's say we decide we want several columns, all right? And um, I put those here. And uh, by the way, I went first and I clicked on the master page icon, not the individual pages of the document, but the master page. And I double clicked it and I went to it and I added these guidelines. And um, now that I have done that, you can go now to the individual pages in the document and all of those guidelines are automatically showing up on the document. And then if I needed to move or modify those, all I would have to do is go back to the master page and once again, move it, modify it, and that would automatically be incorporated and picked up by all the individual pages. Same thing with uh, something like a graphic. Let's say my client wants me to put a, um, a little bar, a color bar across the top or the side of the document. That's pretty typical. And so I make, I'm making a rectangle here. And I'm just going to add um, some color. We'll talk about these things a little bit later on. And there you see um, I have added that on the master page. And you can even see from these little uh, miniatures of the page that, in fact, there it is. It is appearing on all the pages of my document. And when I go to the pages, the individual pages of the document, there you can see that little bar is uh, now visible on all the pages of the document. Okay? And um, the beauty of it is that um, if you then decide that you need to make changes or modify it, um, let's say in this case we look and go, oh, well, we want a bar on the right side as well. So I again go back to the master page and I will um, add um, the little bar there. Okay. And I will um, add some color to that. And once again, now, when I go to all of those other pages, you can see there's now a little bar on the pages on the right side. As a matter of fact, I made it a little bit too big, and it's a little bit askew. So I would go here and say, all right, let's modify it. And as a matter of fact, the client says, you know, that's just a little bit too big. I don't like the color. Um, so we want to uh, trim it down a little bit. Okay. And then I'll go over to this one, and I'll do the same thing. And we also decide we want to make it a different color. Now, if we had to do this one by one on every page of the document, um, you can obviously see how um, silly that would um, end up by being, uh, because it would, in fact, just take much too long. and. Um, waste a lot of time and energy doing it manually. And what if uh, on one of the pages I uh, didn't make it the, exactly the right size or I didn't put it in exactly the right position? Uh, so by doing it on the master page, we add to the consistency of things. And here again, we made the change on the master. We made it a little bit thinner. We made it a different color. And there you see it. Um, it is on all the pages, been automatically changed no matter how many pages are in our document. So that um, is the beauty and the power of working with master pages. Any element that you want to have repeated, and we're going to come back in the next video and we're going to talk about how you add automatic page numbering um, using the master page um, as your basis uh, for adding that element and you'll automatically have the page numbers on every page of your document. And uh, master pages, an essential, important ingredient. <laughs>